Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4, and welcome to my channel. Alright y'all, it is Dollar Tree Friday. Um, every Friday I'm going to do a Dollar Tree haul because I love this store. Even though it's now $1.25, I still love it because you never know what you're going to find when you walk inside. So, as always, I love to start my haul with my most favorite thing, which is these little galvanized Easter buckets. Look how cute these are. Okay, I'm gonna show you up close. So this one right here is my favorite. Look at that little bunny rabbit. And I love everything, like I guess like the trend this year is cottontail because everything that I bought like here, here in Hobby Lobby that says cottontail. So this says cottontail farms open daily, carrots, chocolates, and eggs. But look how sweet that is. I love that right there. You can pop you some like the little Dollar Tree carrots in here. You can add some um, lavender in here, any kind of greenery, some cute little straws from Dollar Tree. But I love that one. It's got the little handle. They have this truck. And this truck is the same print that was on that towel that I found last week. This is um, Happy Easter, Join the Egg Hunt, and the little teal truck says Egg Hunt. Look how cute. Love that one. Okay. Here's a little gnome that says Happy Easter Egg Hunt. Cute. And then this one right here, you got the little pink truck that says, oh my gosh, <laughs> uh, Little Bunny Carrot Garden, you pick fresh daily. That is some little bitty writing on there. But look how cute that is. I love that little pink truck. And this one, because it's got the carrots, that would be really cute with like the Dollar Tree carrots coming out of it. Or any carrots that you have coming out. Um, you can put some of that little Dollar Tree shred that they have or some of the floral moss. But I just think that is so cute. I love these. And I really, I think this little bunny is my favorite. So let me know which one you like the best, but yeah. This little bunny and that little pink truck with the carrots are, is just too cute. All right, y'all, our stores um, are still like slowly getting Easter stuff in. I have not found the good stuff yet, but I did find some new ribbons. And these are all gingham, but it's in pastel colors. That right there. Little gingham. So um, it is the Easter label. You got the little like um, yellow and white. You got the pink and white. And then this lavender and white. I love these. And this yellow one right here. Look at that. Look how pretty this yellow is. This is perfect all summer long. If you love to decorate with lemons and bees for like the spring and summer, right here, lemonade decor, anything. This right here in some black and white or navy and white. It's gonna be so cute. So I love this. Even if you don't want it for Easter, think about like summer coming up. So these, and these are um, three yards. I found some Rick Rack ribbon. <laughs> and I think it's called Rick Rack. When it's like that, like, zigzag shape. See that right there? Let me show you what this looks like. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yes, that is great. This is going to be so cute. Add it to any little ribbon bundle that you make. Um, you can outline any craft using this stuff. So these are so cute. I only found it in the purple and the blue. I don't know if there's other colors. There may be a pink and a yellow out there, but I just found these two. And then I thought these were so pretty together. Look at that right there. <laughs> I love it. So you've got the little bunnies with their little cotton tails and all this pastel colors. Yes. Oh, look how cute that is right there. I love those. And then you can mix it with this right here. Yes, and then look at that. Look, <gasps> mix those two together. That is gonna be so cute. 
I then found that they had orange burlap. So I was really excited for this because I want to make some carrots. So, and this is also from the Easter section, but it's orange. I love it. You get um, three or you know, three yards, nine feet as always. But yes, that is a great color for some carrot stuff. Love it. It's wired. So I love working with wired ribbon because it stays. No matter how you bend it, <laughs> It just stays. But I was able to find these cute new Easter boxes. It's like the little gift boxes that they have, the little handle. But look how sweet this one is right here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Y'all know I, my heart goes out for little chicks. Oh, this is so cute. Happy Easter. You got the sweet little bunny rabbit, but those little chicks are adorable. I love this, the side is like that plaid, so sweet. This, you can give as a gift, you could use this as an Easter basket, but you could also put you some greenery in here. Some greenery, some Dollar Tree flowers, some lavender, and just decorate with this. So this is like the larger size. So we got this one. And then I grabbed the smaller size of this one right here. Look how cute that is. The little satin ribbon that goes with it. You get the little polka dots on the side. It's really cute. But the truck, this is the same print of that towel that I bought last week. Happy Easter, join the egg hunt. And it's that beautiful teal or turquoise maybe. Little truck, I love it. So cute. Um, there is a size in between. Like this is a small and this is the large. But I just thought these were too cute. Okay. Then I grabbed this little, um, the little carton of eggs. They've had these the last couple years. All they had were the gold ones, which is fine because I have a craft idea like in mind that we're going to do with these. And I really, I love the little wood crate or the little egg carton that comes with them. But so cute. And you may already have some of these at home, but I just needed to grab one of these. So that. They had the cutest little um, baking cups, like for like cupcakes or muffins. It's like an orange and white, and it's a, a little gingham. It reminds me of a carrot, because of the orange and white. But I thought this would be really cute if you made like a faux cupcake. And every year, every year I think I'm gonna make some faux foods, some faux cupcakes, faux this, faux that. <laughs> My stuff just never turns out right. So that's why you never see them in a video. But eventually I'll get it right. But you get 50 of them. And even if I don't use these for a craft, I can use these for cornbread or, you know, cupcakes. But look how cute those are. That orange and white, like gingham. They have out little mini Easter spatulas. <laughs> look how cute these are. At um, Christmas time, they had some like gingerbread men on them. But these are the Easter, and you get two. It's a two pack. So this one has the pink and yellow. So this one has a little pink egg that says egg hunt, and then the little yellow one has a bunny rabbit. How cute those are. And then this one, you have the pink little um, little rabbit that says Hoppy Easter. And then, oh my goodness, this teal colored one says Cottontail Farms, Carrots, Chocolates, and Eggs. Do you see that? These are so cute. You could, <laughs> I say cute a lot, but these would be great popped into like a, uh, into like a little Easter coffee mug or even like a little white coffee mug from Dollar Tree. You can have these like on a tiered tray. If you have a crock like on your counter, just kind of like pop these down in there. Or just like kind of lay them, like your little coffee bar area or your little um, little shelf or something. But I just thought these were so cute. And I love that you get two for $1.25. Then I grabbed this little, it's just a little craft bottle. It's plastic. But what I loved about it was the top. Okay, what's well this right here? Look at the top. I'm gonna take it out. <laughs> it's yellow and white gingham. Like that buffalo check. I thought this would be so cute for the summer. I mean, of course now for Easter, but once again, lemon decor. You can make you like a faux lemonade using this for your bees. You can put um, like some like little honey or something in here. But I just, I love it. I, just, I love that top. And they had other colors, but this yellow and white one, I knew that I could use this all summer long. 
they brought back these little um like little faux berry stems it's just called glitter berries they have this really pretty blue color that. this yellow once again is perfect all spring and summer long so the yellow love purple purple is my favorite color right there and then this really pretty pink color look at that look how pretty that is it kind of matches my shirt actually it does <laughs> but i just i love these so you can add these into any arrangement it just makes them fun it's like that fun little pop you can put it into a wreath you can decorate with them i just i think stuff like this is really fun just to add to little places here and there Okay, now this is brand new and it's adorable. Look at these little carrots. <laughs> it's a little carrot gift bag. You get two of them. So you get two for $1.25. But look how adorable these are right here. And we're going to open this up. Oh my gosh. Look how cute that is. Now, what you can do is... I'm just going to take a couple dollar tree bags for right now. Put it in here. And then cinch it <laughs> and then like tie like a cute little bow with it oh my gosh seriously look how adorable that is this is too cute get you some of these <laughs> you could have this laying on any shelf anywhere you decorate a couple of these kind of propped kind of just here and there is going to be adorable a tear tray my mom's hutch I mean, window seals. Look at that. And all that was is just taking some Dollar Tree bags and shoving them in here and just using the green drawstring that comes with it and making a bow. I love it. So cute. Like I said, you get two of them for $1.25. Now, <laughs> now, I wish I would have grabbed one more because they're so cute. Oh, I did grab two things of the orange mesh and this is from the Easter section um for possible carrots I have all kinds of like carrot ideas that I want to do it's just a matter of being able to do it all but so I did grab two of these just in case another brand new find is they had this little planner and look be happy and it's got the little bumblebee on it do you see how cute that is and it it's plastic and there was like three or four different ones i took a picture so i'll insert the picture right here so you can see all of them i just grabbed the bee because i just thought it was so cute and like i said i do bees for the summer so i love that they brought these back out if you remember these the little galvanized um just a little galvanized little bucket they're calling it a vase and it's already wrapped in the twine for you so i love these this is how i love to decorate so that and then back there with all the floral they had some lavender look, look how nice this lavender is look at that look how full that is it right there I mean should, they're just calling it greenery but it's lavender and I love to decorate with lavender like I got some over there I got some on the shelf over there by the front door but I love it because purple is my favorite color it's that but you can very easily I grab three I got three stems here Put it like in here. Look how pretty that is, right there. And that's three stems. You know, if you want to make it full, you could add you like two more probably. But I just, this right here is me. So I love this. So you got that. Or if you wanted to use it in here, something like that. Look how pretty that is. And then, you know, if you wanted. Like a pop of the yellow for like the bees <laughs> you can mix all this stuff together and it's so pretty and then back there with the floral look okay y'all when i saw these i was excited and i could only find two of them <laughs> do you see these apple stems look how beautiful these are right here i love them i only found two but look how pretty these are Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so pretty, like going like summer and fall. Oh my gosh, like the beginning of fall, like kind of like that, that transition. It's just called a fruit stem. Right there. 
But yes, look how pretty these are. And all you have to do is just kind of fluff them a little bit. I mean, seriously, look how pretty this is. And I wish I could find one more because I love doing things like in threes. But I still, I think this is going to be so pretty. Look at that. You can make you a wreath. Seriously, a beautiful wreath. You do something like this onto um, like a grapevine wreath, add you a big bowl right here. I love that. And we may end up doing that. Oh, oh my gosh. I really, I hope I can find more of these. So, so, so I'm curious, have you seen these at your stores? Because I'm wondering if this was like something, <laughs> like they were cleaning out the back and they found it. Like, is this something old or is this new? Because I would love to find more of them. Could you imagine if they did lemons? Oh my gosh, <laughs> those would sell out. If they did like lemon stems like this, they'd be gone. I grabbed two things of the nautical rope. This is the nine and a half feet, 2.8 meters. So I just grabbed two of them. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I just wanted to make sure that I had some. Last year we made a huge, I mean like this big, like a huge beehive door hanger and we wrapped it in nautical rope. It was so big and beautiful. Um, I'll insert a picture right here. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can do so much with nautical rope. I grabbed another bag of the Spanish moss and then a bag of just the floral moss. This is gonna be great for like Easter. Like if you wanna make like a, like for your, like if you're decorating like your rabbits or like a little bird's nest or something, to do something with these. I grabbed some more um, twine. Now I get my twine like an automotive section, like automotive and like the tools because you get a three pack right here. Look at that. You get three for $1.25 versus just the one they have in the crafter square section. You get three for the same price. So always look like in the tools, like automotive. I grabbed, <laughs> all right, sitting right here next to me. I grabbed my minced garlic. I always buy my minced garlic at Dollar Tree. It's right here. I love adding garlic to stuff and you get eight ounces. So, so to me, this is a really good deal and it's a time saver. You know, you don't always have like fresh garlic on hand and then you have to chop it all up really fine or you could just use some of this. But I found, <laughs> name brand, um, Faber One Bars. You get five inside here and they're full size. And they are full size bars. Right there. And these are really good. So I bought one box. I made sure that, you know, whoever needed them liked them and they loved them. So I went back and I got two more boxes of these. And they are good until April. But you know, seriously. At Kroger's, these are over $4 a box. So when I saw them at Dollar Tree, and they ring up $1. It wasn't $1.25, I guess because it's food, it came up a dollar. So if they would have had more, I would have bought them. I found some different glue in the, um, like the teacher section, like the school section. Um, Bostic, you ever heard of this brand before? I've never heard of this, I think it's named brand. Um, this is called Fine and Wide Clear Glue, dual, applica <laughs> dual application. So, you know, I'm gonna open this up real quick. All right, this one says, okay, so this one right here says, clear glue, dual application, pin applicator, and spreader. So, the top, comes out very small, thin, detailed. And then the bottom, does this open up too? Yes, okay, the bottom, you squeeze it out, and then I guess you like, you can rub it on, you know, glue whatever together. So I'm actually excited for this because I have a project I'm about to do, and I need a glue stick, which I don't have. And then they had this one, which is multi-purpose adhesive. For crafts, wood, paper, and fabric. Dries clear, non-toxic, washable, safe for children. And it's this one. So, and I think this is just, I think just the top opens on this. Ooh, okay, yeah. So 
right there. And you just twist it from the bottom and I guess the glue comes out the top. I was excited to see they brought back the wood cutting boards. So they just have the bamboo cutting boards. <laughs> it's about this tall. <laughs> I don't have a roller. It's about that tall. Uh, was it like nine, maybe 10 inches? But these are great because one, it's obviously a cutting board, but another, you can craft with these. Like this is wood, it's bamboo. So you can craft with it. You can put like um, clings on it. You could turn it into like a bunny cutting board with like some bunny ears, like a bunny tail. I found some new picture frames and I love these because I love the whole rustic and like farmhouse look. So I grabbed two of these right there and it's a four by four, which I love because it's like a perfect square. Let me open this up because you're, you're getting a glare. Look at that right there. See how it's like that rustic distressed wood look? I love it. So cute. Like, I think maybe like in our bedroom, like on the nightstand, like one on my side and one on my husband's side. But yeah, I mean, I just think these are really great. And these seriously look more expensive than a dollar. Like no one would know you just got these at Dollar Tree. Um, they brought these back. This one right here, like that, like that galvanized. It's got the, what is it? It's like <laughs> galvanized the, Get the tin, like a tin roof type thing. Right there, you get the little clip. There's your little picture right here. Um, it holds this right, this little picture right here is a two by three, but you can go bigger. And it's got the little kickstand. So we had one of these. And then this one they brought back. I love this one too. I love the look of it. I love that right there. That, this also has a little kickstand. Um, this holds a three and a half by five. We are a huge Marvel family. So when I found this book, <laughs> so when I found this book, I had to grab it for Riley. It's Captain Marvel of Marvel. It just says, um, Libertarian Run, an original novel by Tess Sharp. And in stores, it's sold in the U.S. for $24.95. So basically $25, and I just got it for a dollar and a quarter. Right there, like I said, you see the Marvel. And then of course, you know, Captain Marvel. But how great is that? <laughs> so he's excited. He's like, mom, he's like, have you done the haul yet? Can I have the book? <laughs> so he'll be excited to get this. Okay. Then I found this right here. Now this is not the Cricut paper, like the, the vinyl they have. This is like with all the drawer lining stuff. This is some um, quick cover shelf and drawer liner washable durable easy to apply remover so this is like for lining your cabinets and stuff but as soon as i saw it i thought of easter i thought of a carrot because look at that orange and white gingham see that look how great this is you can make you some really cute carrots or easter signs using this right here and it's adhesive it's sticky if you wanted you could take this you could cover this up right here and make a really cute sign with it. Um, it some books. <laughs> Get you some books from Dollar Tree. Um, wrap it up in this like you used to do like in school. You know, make you like a, some faux book covers using this. Yeah, but as soon as I saw this, my mind went straight to a carrot for Easter. <laughs> and you get, it's 18 inches by one and a half yards. So you can make you quite a few things using this right here. I found some brand new magnets and they are so cute. I always buy my magnets from Dollar Tree, but <laughs> this one right here says, always be grateful and it's a cheese grater. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, let me open this up. Look at that. Look at that little cheese grater and the whole back is a magnet. So this should have like a really good hold, but I just thought this was too funny. <laughs> that one. And then this one right here, I just thought it was so pretty. And it reminded me like of Presley because she loves like succulents and plants. But this one says, better days ahead. And look at the terracotta pots. Look how pretty this is. I'm gonna open this one up too because it's the glare. But this has the black and white gingham at the bottom, 
you got your terracotta pot, all your greenery. It's got like the faux like wood ship lamp in the background. And it says better days ahead. So I love this magnet. This is gonna be so pretty on the front of our fridge. See that? Yeah, so cute. And once again, the whole back is a magnet. <laughs> I grabbed some more of my hot glue sticks. I always get these at Dollar Tree because I need the big ones, like the big fat ones. I'll show you. Yeah, so I have a cordless hot glue gun. So mine takes these really big sticks and they're a lot like fatter, bigger than like a, than like a regular hot glue. <laughs> than a regular hot glue stick. They're bigger. <laughs> I cannot think of the way to word this right, but they're bigger. So I did get these. Um, I have not been hot gluing as much since I burnt myself so daggone bad. I'm still slowly kind of healing and it's like, it's turned brown and it's, yeah, <laughs> you see? Yeah, it's slowly healing. It's like a scab and stuff now, but <laughs> I haven't been hot gluing as much. I have a little fear now. <sighs> I found a brand new, um, is it called like a fat quarter? A crafter square? I don't know what you call this. Um, craft fabric, but look at that right there. It's that. But this right here, this red and white little gingham to me is like my whole entire summer. From May and through the end of August, like actually until September, just my whole like patriotic decor, my strawberry decor. I just think this is great. Memorial Day, 4th of July. Look at that. Let's open this up. Let's see what this looks like. All right, let's see this. Let's see how big it is. This may or may not be worth $1.25, but look at that. That right there. Like I said, I would use this all summer. You see that? So, I like it. But you know, I, I think even at Walmart, like their fat quarters, they've gone up in price. Like they, I think they're now more than a dollar. I found this really neat easel. Look at this little wood easel. Look how great this is. And it's got the little kickstand. So you can take it all the way out. You can, you know, adjust it to however you want. It's got this little knob right here. I guess so like as you put this out, you can like tighten it so it'll stay. But I thought this was so great. One, if you like to paint, you can like display like your little um, canvases. All of those really cute pictures that like Dollar Tree gets in, you could sit it on here. Um, like you could do like a cookbook in your kitchen and have this sitting on it. Uh, the little sign that we made, the St. Patrick's Day one, you could put that on here. That would be really cute. I just thought this would be really great for decorating. And it's just called an easel. <laughs> I wish Dollar Tree would put measurements on their tags. Because <laughs> I never think to bring a ruler in here. But yeah, so this is great. All right, and the very last thing I found is also brand new. It is these bamboo rings and you get two of them. That right there, every store that I went to had these. So make sure you check your crafter square section. Right there, Um, let's open this up. They're not attached. So that way you could do whatever you wanted with these. Grab me a couple packages and you could like do like a wall collage. You know, just kind of put like here and there. You could put you some greenery around it, add you a bow or something if you wanted, or some twine. Yeah, that's great. I think, um, I love like lamb's ear. You could, um, pop you off some, oh, let's see this. You could pop you off some of this lavender. Put it on here. I mean, obviously not this whole thing, but, you know, you could pop you a couple of these off here and put that, like take you some twine, wrap it around it. But these are great. You can craft with these. You could make you, you do like here, you could make you a bunny rabbit using this. You could make you a snowman out of this. You could put it together, you know, put some twine and like a bow. You do like that. Once again, 
add you like some flowers or something on it, add you a big bow to it. But I just thought these were really great. And there's like so many things that you can do with these. Oops, almost forgot. <laughs> I found patches. They have patches in the crafters for section. They had a sunflower and I also grabbed um, the American flag. I love them. This is my favorite. They also had a heart, a rainbow, a butterfly. The butterfly was really pretty too. Um, it's just, it's a patch and it's an iron on. So that's perfect. So it must be sticky. Let's see. Yeah, so it has adhesive backing. You just, you iron this on to whatever you want. You can put on like a little jean jacket, a sweatshirt, a canvas bag, um, a backpack. I mean, anything, just be creative. You could use this just to decorate with. But all you have to do is just iron it on to whatever you want. But there's a beautiful sunflower. And like once again, like this, the American flag was my favorite. So I love these. So I did, I checked pictures of like the patches, the ones I didn't buy, and of the little pails, like the little buckets, the ones I didn't buy. I took pictures, so I'll add them at the end of this if you want to see what those look like too. Because uh, I'm trying to do better. I'm trying not to buy everything. You know, I'm just going to pick and choose the things that I like, it's my favorite, and kind of get those. Because my crafter, you know, my family thinks I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I mean, you, said, you wouldn't believe how many times I've tripped and fallen in my craft room. It's that bad. I really need to like go through and organize. You know, because it's like I have like different holiday stuff. You know, like I still have like some Christmas still in there. Valentine's Day. I'm trying to get out my St. Patrick's Day stuff. Plus I've got Easter in there. <laughs> so it is just a mess. But all right. So I am on the hunt for all the new Easter signs. Um, it seems like Texas and California, like a lot of people that I follow, they're kind of already finding the signs, so I cannot wait until they show up here. Um, and as soon as I do, no matter what day of the week it is, I'm gonna do a Dollar Tree haul because I'm so excited to share those with you. Um, and some of them, like what I've seen, look amazing. Like the quality of them, so I cannot wait to see them in person. So let me know like I said, let me know if you have seen these in your stores before because I would love to find more. And I just think Dollar Tree, if you're watching, lemons. If you do these little apples, do some lemons. That would be the probably the best thing you've ever done. So those right there. And seriously, look for these carrots. You know, I know sometimes we just kind of I know sometimes we kind of like overlook stuff like this because, you know, maybe we don't have little ones at home. But when you think about decorating with them, it just opens up like a whole new thing. But all right, um, let me know what was your favorite thing. Like I said, I think mine's going to have to be these carrots. Yeah, I think mine's really is going to be these little carrots right here. I love them. But, all right, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend, rest, relax, take care of yourself, um, and I uh, will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.